we're gonna create these awesome doodle animations in After Effects. But instead of showing how to create a basic doodle or icon animation, I'm gonna show you the simple technique that will allow you to take your graphics or logos and turn them into this beautiful glowing neon outline. The first thing we must do is get our hands on an icon. So import your logo or graphic, but here's a pro tip, you can get free vector objects and icons like this on freepick.com and you can import those into After Effects or Illustrator. However, I'm just going to assume you're working with a PNG. So select your layer and go to Auto Trace. Pause and copy my settings and click OK. So there's a few different directions we can go in here, but go ahead and apply the Saber effect. If you're new to After Effects or have been hiding under a rock, this is a free plugin which I'll link below. The first thing to do is set the core type to layer mask and set the glow intensity to 15. And now we can see our outline and this is a great opportunity to remove any unwanted mask. Though for this tutorial, I'm going to keep all the mask I'm currently using. Let's go to end offset and lower it. Then we can alt click the stopwatch for mask evolution and add the expression time asterisk 100. And whatever you do, don't forget about the flicker settings. Feel free to adjust the intensity and speed. And now we have this basic glowing outline. Looking good there, and yes, I'm talking to you. Since the groundwork is set up, let's go ahead and get some basic animation properties going. Create a null object and parent the layer to it. For the null position, add the expression wiggle open parenthesis to comma five close parenthesis. And for the rotation, add the same expression, except it should be one comma five. Just trying to keep you on your toes. And since I do not like smooth animations for this style, create an adjustment layer and then go to time and add posterize time. Set the frame rate to around 15. Okay, it's coming together just fine. Now, this is where the fun begins. From here, you can add in more icons by copying and pasting the saber effect to new layers and create something like this, or you can stay tuned and create this multicolor glowing outline. To do this, go back to customize core and set the end offset to 27% then open render settings and set it to transparent. Now duplicate the layer and set the start to 33% and the end offset to 64%. The question is, am I randomly making these numbers up? Absolutely. But duplicate one more time and set the start to 70% and the end to 95%. Is my math perfect? No, but at least you have this segmented animation, which now allows us to change the color of each saber layer just like this. And I also recommend setting the blend mode of each layer to screen. Okay, so this is where the interesting stuff begins. All that stuff we previously did, not interesting at all. It was so easy that I heard a caveman could do that. So what we can do is split our layers at some point in time and perhaps delete one layers or just drag the endpoint over a bit. You can also delete a few masks if you want, but ultimately I'm gonna go into time-lapse mode and create this unique combination of glows. This way your object will stay interesting like this technique I raved about. But that's how you can mix up your outline and create a cool logo, icon, or doodle animation. Now, I won't leave you here as I'll show you how to create this cool floor reflection and the final scene. And by the way, you can quickly add icon animations and doodles to any of your projects with our Motion Duck extension. Just add and change the colors. Also, you can import from over 20,000 editable templates here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can get our free templates and everything that we have with the links below. All right, back to it. So pre-compose everything you've done, call it Taco Bell, and click OK. Say nothing with no context. Wait, dang it, I wasn't supposed to read that. To create a floor, import a texture that we'll call a floor, even though this is clearly a photo of a rock. Okay, pre-compose your floor image and go into it. Turn it into a 3D layer, set X rotation to 9 degrees, and lower the position to the bottom of your lonely black composition. Go back to your main comp and turn the layer off because I just wanted to waste your time. Duplicate your glowing graphics, go to layer, transform, flip vertical then lower its position toward the bottom of your comp. Create an adjustment layer and add compound blur to it. Make sure the adjustment layer is between both of your glowing graphics. Set the blur layer to your floor layer, but you can mess around with the blur settings if you want to. I'll also link these free volumetric light assets so you can add them into your scene as well. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and always be creating.